All right, chill mom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise on the glory to Yahweh yeah, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakaq, Kadash, the bonds of the apostles, others, great millstone, citation, brothers, pushing his word and truth and sincerity with charity. <clears throat> Every single life and freedom to do so. There's a brother, young guy, come from the great millstone, Chicago camp convention when I listen. The one's edifying. Uh, it's going to be a quick shift of the day. Um... Hey, man, don't take matters into your own hands. The vengeance is of the Lord, man. All right. Like scripture says, and there's a scripture that, that pops up, because you'd be so quick to uh, 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 want to go ahead and take matters into your own hands. But, hey, you got to filter everything out through the scriptures and what scripture say? Make not hasten in time of trouble. All right. So, and some sometimes, you know, all the time, <clears throat> not sometimes, but we have to uh, not take things and matters into our own hands. You know, scripture says eye for an eye. You know, but when when you're trying to com- get complete uh, uh, payback. For whatever it is, you know, you gotta ask yourself: Is it of the Lord? Is it you being carnal? You know, at the end of the day, you know we are to trust in the Lord because what we can do is nothing compared to what the Lord has in store. You know, and um, and I always say it: You know, um, can you count the numbers of the head? Can you count all the hairs, you know, on your head? You know, and there was, and the answer is going to be no. And the scripture says, I would say, you know, the Lord has uh, all your hairs on your head are numbered. You know, the Lord knows you better than you know yourself. All right. Hey, hey. <laughs> The Lord could do way worse, you know, um, than what you can think of or imagine of doing, you know. But, um, so I can. Look, at the end of the day, when you do take matters into your own hands, it shows that you have no faith in the Lord, you know. And you can't please the Lord. You know, that scripture says, without faith, it's impossible to please Him. You know? You know, you know what? Let me get Psalms thirty seven and one. It says, Fret not thyself. This is a Psalm of David. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou against Nislaki. Fret not thyself against evil doers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass, 
and wither as the green herb. All right. So don't worry. Don't 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 be upset. You know, don't worry about it. Because at the end of the day, you know, hey, the Lord got their ticket, man. All right. It says, trust in the Lord and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. All right. So at the end of the day, it's just trusting into the Lord, man. You know, and a lot of people don't have that. You know, they trust and say their own uh, arms. The scripture says one of them, where is that at exactly? You know, trust into um. Hold on, this is a good one, but it's not it. This is a. Uh, no, this ain't it, no. No, this ain't it. But, yeah, Jake, Jake don't got it, man. So, basically, ain't not how you spend time of trouble. You know, take down vengeance and manage into your own hands. Trust into the Lord, you know. And, and, and you can never go wrong, you know, because the Lord could do way more. Because you could do X, Y, A, and B, and the Lord <laughs> has something way worse in store. You know, or <clears throat> whatever the case may be, you know, but, you know, and now I, what, 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 um, what, uh, inspired really this lesson, you know, don't, uh, vengeance is of the Lord, you know, a, uh, um, Because, um, it's like, you know, I'm already dealing, you know, I'm in, uh, I'm in slavery, dealing with a, with a, with a demon, man. You know, when I already, uh, got to deal with, with practicing, uh, patience, you know, and, um, and, and follow the spirit. You know, a lot of people would act, I believe, uh, um, Carnally, you know, and um, well, um, <laughs> you know, just filtering everything through the scriptures, man, and trying to try my best, you know, filter the scriptures. You know, for one example, you know, I had uh, my my lunch was stolen. You know, it wasn't a full lunch; it was just like a little cup. You know, taking out the, the cafeteria. You know, it was a communal fridge. You know, long story short, it just ended up missing. But, you know, I had so many thoughts of just going ahead and replacing something and putting some all types of bullshit in the cup and whatever it takes it again, they let them deal with it. You know, but at the end of the day, you know, the spirit hit me and said, you know, take, you know, don't take this man into your hands and trust into the Lord. Let the Lord deal with these people, man. You know, because at the end of the day, I really believe that the Lord will do way worse and is going to do way worse. You know, truth says it's better to eat a tight great millstone around thy neck and cast thyself into the sea, man. You know, these people have no idea who they'd be fucking with, man. All right, and I don't say that pridefully, man. You know, I, uh, <laughs> you know, I, 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 you boast anything, you boast in, uh, in the Lord, man. So this is Romans twelve and nineteen. It says, "Dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is, 
For it is written, the vengeance is mine, I will repay, said the Lord. You know, there's another one I was really thinking of, Slack, yes, sir, just, but I was just, I'm in slavery right now, and I just wanted to hit this real quick, you know. So, don't take vengeance, man. Don't take matters into your own hands. You know, if you uh, 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 defend yourself at all costs, but, you know, people get... Hey, this is this is their their kingdom, man. You know, and <laughs> you, you, you know, they gonna reap what they sow, man. So this is Romans twelve and nineteen says daily, uh, verse eighteen. I'm sorry, eighteen. It says it is if it be possible as as much as life in you live possi- live peaceably with all men, daily beloved, avenge not avenge not yourself. Rather give place unto wrath, for his reign, vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Call along like a hell, bless me, I was shy. No one's edifying lesson, until next time, peace out of the wall.